So I've come out today to the wilds of Berkshire and uh, I've met my friend Tom uh, on his farm and uh, one of the things I really want to cook is hare. And you've got a lot Tom, haven't you? Yeah, we've got too many Mike. We see sometimes 40, 50 hares on one field so we do need to thin them out every now and then. So we try and shoot maybe 12, 15 hares a year, something like that. Shall we see into this field because quite often... Oh will you look at this? And they must do some significant damage to your field as well. There's plenty, plenty of wild ingredients for us to go at. Tons of hares, tons of deer, tons of rabbits, tons of pigeons. And it's a great excuse to test my new air arms twin cylinder firearm certificate air rifle. So that's the challenge. We're going to look for some hares, creep out into the fields, see if we can get one. This is the field I want to go out into because you can see it's um, oh, yeah. short. So <clears throat> oh, there's one. There's one there. It's 120 yards. It's too much for an air rifle. So I'd have to somehow approach it, crawl out to it, do you think? Stay, Lily. Good girl, stay. Okay, uh, we've just pulled up. <laughs> Tom and I between us have spotted at least 15 hares in this one little field here. I mean, there's a lot of hares here. So um, I've got the uh, 2 2 air rifle, and I'm just going to check I've got plenty of pellets in it. So it works off a magazine, and you, all you do, drop a pellet in, move it round, and they will do the job if I get within, I think on a still day I'd need to get within 70 yards, but on a day like today, probably 50. And that's loaded. Safety's on, we're good to go. Air rifle loaded and ready to fire, I set off in the hare's direction. I'm going to go gently and keep myself crouched to blend in better. Remember, there's a hedge behind me for cover. This hare, though, seems pretty busy preening and generally keeping out of the wind, so I think I'm going to get there. Suddenly, out of the corner of my eye, I become aware of a herd of fallow deer standing off to one side. They know we're here, but for once, they don't seem too bothered. Typical. Now, however great this air rifle is, it is not deer legal. So I've got to ignore my spectators and keep my eye on today's prize. The shot is completely silent and absolutely deadly. Instantly kills the hare and the fallow deer are completely unperturbed. I really can't believe this. Here's the irony of what we do. I've just stalked a hare and got him the air rifle and look over there. Unbelievable, and all I have today is an air rifle. Right, well let's go and get our hair. Okay. Okay, so perfect hair. I managed to get to about 55, 60 yards from him. All I could see is the hair lying on his form, and on a windy day like this it's actually rather good because the hair is hunkered up. And in the end I could just pick out the bum end and the eye. So I, the big crosswind blowing, so I aimed about an inch and a half to the left uh, of his head. And the way my thinking is, if the wind doesn't affect it, it'll either miss it or kill it. And no and behold, the pellet hit the, the hair. I mean, the freaky thing is about an air gun, like there's no noise. And the hair just went, didn't know I was there. This animal never felt a thing, just instant kill. I can't actually find the pellet hole, but I, it's got to be in the head there. And, oh, I can feel it there. So it's right between the eye and the ear. Um, make sure he's got no piddle in him, he hasn't. So what we'll do is we'll take him back to the farm, Tom. We'll get a knife and we'll just grallock him, we'll just gut him. And then we'll hang him up and let him bleed and this will be the most beautiful pink meat. I'm so happy with that. And I'm so happy that hair never suffered, never knew anything. I'm incredibly impressed with my Air Arms TC510 twin cylinder air rifle. It is so accurate, unbelievably powerful and completely silent. What a tool for the hunter's repertoire. Before we leave though, I've spotted some fantastic free ingredients on the nearby hedgerows. I just can't let them go to waste and they'll be perfect for the hair recipe I've got planned. Okay, now they always say what grows together goes together. What we've got here is some beautiful slows. It's just clusters of slows on these things. I'm going to pick a good pocket full and I think for our hairs I'm going to do them with a, a slow sauce. It'll be delicious. 
So, all in all, a highly successful morning, and I'm sure we'll be back another day to seek out those fallow deer. In the meantime, Tom and myself are off to Gralic and prepare the hare for a scrumptious meal that I've got planned. Knob of butter, some of that lovely quince jelly. Get some colour on them, and then we're going to pop that whole thing straight in the oven. Early winter perfection. And if you've enjoyed this recipe, then watch other recipes and my other films on YouTube.